Alright, so I'm getting all ready here. I got varying putties, spatulas, knives, whatever you want to call them. A uh, little mixing board going on. Hardener and Bondo. A um, little scrubby and some towel to wipe as I go. I think I'm ready to do some Bondo. I forgot how much this stuff stinks. Can't you remember if you need to shake it up or not? I didn't want to shake it up. Um, I thought I had some coffee surge tricks or something in here. I thought about using a crayon. I could have sworn I had some like some kind of like cough depressors or something. Oh well, something to add to the old Amazon cart. It surely can't be more than five or six bucks for a hundred or a thousand of them. Popsicle sticks, or something, whatever. Something just to mix this up. But I don't think I need any. Um, yeah, got the hardener ready to go. Gonna get started. So here's a little close-up view of what I got going on. Um, we're over here for right this second. A bit up there. Got a little bit going on over here. Um, tried to fill in those holes. We'll see if that worked. I doubt it. Started to get a little hairy. You know when the bondo starts to kick and it turns, gets, I don't know how, it's like somebody added a bunch of hair to it. So I got a bunch on there. Um, just about to do another round, just taking a little break. <clears throat> yep. Getting there. that's enough um, I'm gonna save the little bit that I have left probably eighth of a can maybe a little less <clears throat> in the hardener uh, in case I find some stuff later on um, before the Bondo dries out and goes bad um, or before I'm painting I'm sure I'm gonna find some stuff like right here that I'm already seeing that I want to do another I already want to do another batch so I'll probably do that and be able to take a peek and circle some stuff and then uh, Bondo with the stuff that I need. Yeah, there's a couple spots I still want to head up. So I'll even really continue, I guess. All right, I'm officially done Bondoing. It's time to open this up and air it out. Holy shit. Mr. Lightheaded over here. 
All right, that last round, I hit a bunch here up top. You can tell by the varying colors of blue, I was really starting to rush it. But here we go. Bondoed up. El Bondo. All right, so I dug this guy out, got it set up. Seems off kilter the way it is, but I mean, I feel like I want to put it flat, but this is this is where it belongs about like that it looks it just looks angled i guess but i watched a bunch of videos and they all kind of look like that so also they had uh everybody had this little thing and i was trying to buy it on the internet i kept looking everywhere and looking everywhere for it and uh couldn't find it anywhere and um well, then I was like, wait a minute, didn't I have some weird little piece of metal in the kit? And I pulled it out, and there it is. So what this does is uh, obviously that bolts through. If you ever want to take your mount off, because I saw some people actually welded it straight on along this line and down here. They welded it straight on. Even some of them even welded it around this corner here. I'm not going to do all that. But uh, this thing here slides in there and then you weld this piece on and then you can still remove the whole thing should you need to take the bracket out or whatever it's still removable so that's the route I'm gonna go so I still need to book kind of bolt it up and get it positioned down so I can mark it up all right got it on there all except for this one doesn't want to go in I think that was the uh, live forever bolt hole um, so yeah I'll have to drive that sucker home when it's time. As for right now, I got it marked out what I need, what I, need, what I can, what I'm allowed to trim off. Um, as far as uh, how far I need to keep it on there, to a minor trim for now. But uh, yeah, now I know where to weld. It's a grind away paint there, and uh, where I can trim. So get going on that. Alright, so uh, cut that out, uh, got it trimmed a little bit off that, rounded it just a bit, took off the trip, um, and hit up this corner with some stamp, I got this guy going, a little 220 on there, hit up some of this Bondo, trimmed down some of the super high spots, Let's see how far I get with that before the dust kills me, um, I might actually set up a fan before I do that. <laughs> A bunch of cleaning up. Notice the uh, battery on the phone died, so plugged it in. All right, basically, what I'm doing is uh, see all these big bumpy high spots here, just going around knocking those down. Um, basically, they start out looking like this, and then what I'm trying to go for is like this nice and flat. There's a couple of these. Uh, oh, <coughs> Excuse me. A little rivet. <coughs> Alright, now that I'm done dying. Um, couldn't get in here. Couldn't really see. Because I was just blowing this dust around. Um, but I kind of want to do this part by hand. Because it's a little, a little tricky. Especially right in here. It's all the folds. Um, down there I knocked down a little bit. But um, I started like draining water out of my 
angle grinder out of the bottom just started flowing out so I drained my tank you can see there's quite a bit of water down there so I emptied it and drained it and then now I just filled it so now I'm gonna go back to uh, bumping down high spots I don't think I'm going to get as detailed. I put a lot on over here, so it's really... I got down quite a bit down in here. I think it's really smooth, so it's not going to take me nearly as long to sand it. But, yeah, if I didn't have this angle grinder, I mean, this right here would be two hours of sanding. I mean, this to go from here to here was five minutes. And that's just in one spot, standing here going like this, waiting for my phone to charge. So without this uh, angle grinder, I'd be up shit creek without an angle grinder paddle. that I could reach, knock down. Anything that I thought I could really save a bunch of time on, I went to town on. Um, that's glad I have that done. Um, yeah, now I get to sit around and do the hardcore stuff, <laughs> which is the final sculpting and sanding, which is gonna take pocket forever. But, you know, something's just gotta get done. So, I reckon I'll uh, hammer around into that. Um, but first I'm gonna take a little break for sure. All right, it's getting to be like five o'clock. I'm gonna start winding down. I'm gonna do some cleaning up and get set up for uh, welding tomorrow. <coughs> I didn't look nearly as cool as I thought it would look. <coughs> it just made me cough. <coughs> yeah, like I said, I'm gonna get cleaned up, get set up for uh, doing welding tomorrow. And something to do with a blanket, I reckon. Well, the mailman was kind enough to just drop off this. I had ordered this uh, standard um, on accident, so I ordered the metric. They have this real nice, but not riveter, but I don't have the mandals for the metric. And I'm missing the correct tip for this size for this one but I do have correct this guy because for this for the clutch uh, reservoir tank this guy goes for this guy fits for the fuel uh, whatever that is what is that thing uh, brake brake pressure uh, proportioning valve good god anyways and this one for the fuel pressure regulator um, those fit so I just ordered a gun with all the mandrels to fit this on there and I also got some uh, black self tappers for the uh, brake lines oof that was hard to get all that out yeah. so now I'm going to drill out the appropriate size for these actually I'm going to wait until I have the gun before I drill them out because I don't want them too big just in case something goes wrong well, I just got out my welding blanket. Dang, is this thing shiny? I hate to uh, mess it up. As you can see, I already got it all gunked up. I had it all tacked up like this side. Made a little basket underneath for me to weld in. And um, then I glanced over and remembered I still need to sand this. And up here, and then prime it. So I'm going to do that. Um, Yep. Yep. All right. It is uh, shit. Seven o'clock already. Um, bummer. 
I had to see all those big ripples and all that filled in and I just spent the last 45 minutes sanding all of that out by hand. Had I known it would take that long, I would have just turned the compressor back on and zipped it right off. But then, uh, so you can see a little bit of marker here. I put the mount back on and marked out where it was. And anywhere there was a, a line going through, I still haven't finished it, but uh, I decided to give up because there's a lot of stuff here I want to finish up working on, detailing. Uh, little air bubbles there and stuff. Work all that stuff out, get it nice and smooth as best I can um, before I send it to the old paint shop. You know, right here. So, I'm going to call it a night. Um, put another nine hours in. I got this guy all um, put back on and tightened down. We sanded it off. Up to the paint mark and put a mark on there uh, for where this guy's gonna go I don't know why I marked it cuz I put all this back in and bolted it down to tack it in place so once I tack it I'll take all that other stuff off yep so that's it for tonight uh, big day got a lot done I'm pat on the back I'm gonna put this on the uh, steps and warm it up so that tomorrow ready to go weld through primer zinc grit to galvanize coating thanks to hush performance for that one Ooh, what kind of day is it gonna be today uh, dirty lens kind of day apparently it is 11 a.m. it's a beautiful Saturday Hoot da, alright. I'm gonna start with some coffee. Get situated. Figure out what's up. Alright, still got a little bondo I need to get rid of there. Um, pretty much all of that. Um, everything else around it, where I want to weld, is nice and clear. Um, also, got to sand this guy down. I got hit it a little bit yesterday on accident, but I want to make sure I got it nice clean on there as well before I bolt her down and spray paint it so I guess I'll get started by sanding off that wrist of that bondo all right let's see I'm right on that spot weld um, probably not gonna weld the whole thing anyways probably just gonna weld probably a little bit right in the middle there a little bit off to the center here right over the serial numbers there up here a little bit just kind of avoid those if I can where I can uh, obviously when you get those bolted in but now I'm going to sand off this guy around the edge. I got it all nice and cleaned off, wiped down. Um, I ended up sanding almost all of this just because it had, like, you can see that round spot right there. It had, like, some oil and stuff on it, so fingerprints and whatnot. So I just decided to sand it all down. Why not? Now I'm going to hit it up with this welding primer. Um, it's been sitting inside, so it's still nice and warm. So I'm going to do that. All right, first coat's on that guy. Got the old fan going here. Every time I move it, I need to put it back. Got this guy up here. Looking pretty good. A little bit of drippage on the back side, not worried about it. I'm trying to put it on nice and thick in the back. And nice and thin where you can actually see it. Got a couple little nubbins that are showing up. Now that I got paint on there. So I'm going to take a minute go over this. I uh, broke out the file kit, so I'm going to hit it up. Let's find file and see if I can't knock that down. Alright, I managed to get the little nubs off. <coughs> Gone they are. <coughs> Sweet. Second coat's on. That and in the car as well. Alright, got my little welding magic act going on here. I'm pretty surrounded. Make sure no sparks get out. If they do, I've got foam, BC, and a bucket of water. Just in case. I also have Halon and an ABC extinguisher. Because I rolled deep like that. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I'm just going to get set up. Get ready to roll. Swallow courage pill. Alright, I think I'm uh, pretty much set up here. Ready to go. 
Um, I've got my helmet, gloves, fire extinguishers, etc. Um, got my little vent fan. Hooked this guy up. Just putting these belts on was a fucking nightmare. Going out in the fan, pushing the fumes even further out. Hopefully that'll work. I believe I'm good to go. I just gotta hop in there and pull up my pants and get to it. Alright, it's a little stinky, but as you can see, it's not too smoky in here. It's not too bad at all. Um, it does smell a little, a little burny, but nothing crazy. I don't have any neighbors screaming at me, so that's nice. As for the weld, um, it's not the world's prettiest, but it's fucking on there. I wasn't planning on going all the way around, but then I was just having so much fun, I just kept going. So once I knock the uh, flag off there and see what it looks like, I'll be able to hit it up with the grinder, etc., and see where I'm at. But uh, for right now, I'm done with the well. I right, just take a peek here. Embarrassing as it is. Yeah, I know. It's fucking awful. But that's why uh, some dude invented a grinder. Make them look a lot better. Yeah, oh, that is <laughs> fucking on there. This one doesn't look as bad. I had to build up quite a bit. I was getting a lot more confident with this one. Um, I like I like welding straight down and not on the ground looking up. Sucks to weld at that angle, but right of passage, right? All right, so I'm gonna take this guy off. I almost got it all the way off, and I got sidetracked by I found my brush. I wanted to brush it off, but yep, there we go. Pat myself on the back, glad that's done. That's what it looks like from this angle with it off. Ugh. This is a whirly gig. I thought about tacking it and then welding this, but the bend on that front lip part is so finicky. I didn't want to mess, mix up the geometry on it. So, bada bang. Hope this doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Hope the engine fits in there well. And it should. Kind of follow the instructions. All right, letting those uh, just kind of cool off and chill out. I'm gonna switch gears. It's kind of been putzing around, cleaning up a little bit. Saw this guy, I figured I'd give it, give it a shot at painting that. Uh, I quit thinking about it. Kind of just packed everything, all the welding shit back up. And so yeah, I'm gonna clean this guy up a little bit and then paint it. All right, it's a little better, a little better. So this is what I got. Permanent, matte black. The trick to this stuff is to uh, spray it on and then brush it in. It's like a little brush. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got that dude out, hanging out to dry. I think that'll look all right. Looks a little ragged, but something that's 30 plus years old ain't, uh, squeeze, ain't too bad. Hey, that's where that went. I was looking for that. All right, trying to figure out uh, what I want to do next. Probably some more putzing around. There you go. 
Looks all right. It's not tight or anything. It's loose, so fit on there a little tighter, but all in all, much better than it did. All right, I did, uh, oh, I just ordered some um, die grinder bits. I don't think I want to try and do this as a thing. I want to try and curve it really nice, make it look a lot better. Um, same with this guy. But I just spent like the last, I don't even know how many hours. Uh, what time is it now? 4.40? Spent a lot of time working on this guy. Getting little, little things out. Trying to make it smooth. That's not even the finish yet. That's just the uh, rough pass. Trying to get it smooth at 80 grit. Doing a little bit, getting a little, little headway. But that's about as far as I've got. This little bit and that, that's it, in about two hours. But I did pick like the hardest part. I took a break from the hard part to work on some easy stuff. But this is a pain in the butt. This is easy and fun. I'm liking this part, but you know, that's something that you probably won't see due to the engine mount. But I gotta get up in here and down here, that'll be fun easy and fun um not like this where it's a lot of contours there's a lot of different shapes going on um, you can't really see too well i mean that's kind of the point of the bondo without filling it in i don't know what i'm going to do with this stuff i gotta figure out a way to get that off of there it's driving me absolutely nuts but one way or another it's coming off roto sander dremel sand or something well, it just started pouring. It's purring out there. Well, anyways, uh, back to sanding. Like I said, it's 440. Took a break. I need to take a break. I didn't take my 420 break, so. Alright. I have uh, got 90% of, of the hard shit. You see, I spent quite a bit of time down in here. Get rid of all that shape. Fucking annoying. Just a little bit up here. My back would hurt from sitting way down there, so I'd come up here and stand up for a little bit and I do a little bit of this up here. Really just trying to use up the air. 